Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're playing some more Divinity Original Sin on PC using console controls because that is what I am more accustomed with. And we finished a somewhat difficult boss fight up here. <coughs> it wasn't too difficult. It was a challenge, but we managed it. We had one death, but that's okay. It is what it is. And I actually need to... Distribute... My scrolls here. I will give you five more. And I'll have to be on the lookout for those. I have no idea what these are for. At all. Or what this is for. Whatsoever. <coughs> um, We have... A note to read somewhere. Is it this one? No. Not this one either. Did I not pick it up or is it somewhere else? <coughs> it's not that one. It's not this one. It's not that one. It's not this one. It's not this one. Here it is. It's this one. Okay. Poor, poor blacksmith. Poor fellow. Torn limb from limb by undead, no doubt. But thank you for this goody house, good blacksmith. I am in dire need of such a place. A place a humble tinker can keep himself safe. A place he can fashion, fashion himself the master of his own destiny at last. A place from which he can blow the watch to bloody mist. Kaboom. There it is, okay. So we've read that note. <coughs> All right, so now we still need to go up to here. So let's go ahead and do Okay, yeah, we are close to a level up. <coughs> Excellent. Okay. Damn cord, stop. I swear. And that looks familiar, doesn't it? Oh, I bet that guy jumped from up here, didn't he? Yeah, he must have. Yeah, I'm betting he jumped from, like... Maybe back here? Yeah, I'm betting he jumped from back here. Okay, my cables are being dumb as hell right now. I'm just going to do that then. Screw it, who cares? Alright. Just, yeah. Oh yeah, I never did search the lows, did I? I did not, actually. Or did I? I don't remember, actually. I did not search these. I don't need this. I don't need this. Can't reach my butt. <coughs> Why 
why could I not reach that one, I wonder? Okay, that is... That's very odd, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Fix my shirt and my cords. Or my cord, I mean, because I only have one long one. Why are they yellow for? You smell. You smell like a hero. The hero I've been waiting for. A hero. I've got a bone to pick. Well, I've got no bones to pick, you see? And that's the problem. My friend and I collected a quite big pile of edibles from these shambling undead. A smogger's boat on feet, I say. But a band of wild wolves chases off of it. Okay. If you follow me, I'll lead you straight. <coughs> I bet a hero like you could shake him off in a matter of minutes. I'll lead the way, hero. Yeah, lead the way, bud. Go ahead, lead the way. Oh, someone's not full health yet, are they? No. I want you full health. Alright, they're up there, and there is six of them that I can see. <coughs> okay. We're gonna wait until our ab abilities are off cooldown. We're gonna wait until. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Alright, everything is off cooldown. Nope, not a new save. I want this. Alright. And I am not gonna go the way he goes. I am going to go over here. Not close enough yet. I want my free cast. And there we go. <clears throat> and he is in combat, that's fine. And he's... Oh. Oh. Oh, well, you know what, buddy? Get burned. Oh, he's gonna die right there. Oh yes, I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. <laughs> and now, now they're gonna walk in that poison. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. <clears throat> if Vargo dies, I mean, it's gonna suck, yes, but... I mean, is it really a big deal? I don't know if it is or not, honestly. Mm, I hate to get her on fire, but it's worth it. All right. <clears throat> I 
I saw he can move one. Alright, so I need to move three point three point one meters, okay. And then I can do that's not in the fire. So I will do this. And then I will do this. Ah, uh, nuggets. Oh well. Poisoned. Poison failed. <clears throat> Damn, Vargo, you are kicking booty. Okay, it takes five, so I can move. How far can I move with one? 2.7, is that accurate? Uh, it's rounding up, okay. So I can move three. I can move 8.2. Eight point two. Oh, I went too far. Oh well, we'll have enough. We'll have enough for our next turn. That's fine. How far can you move? Three point four meters. <clears throat> yeah, with one action point. Okay. Three point four, yep. Yeah, so three point four. That's why you want movement bonuses, is because of this. Because without it, they can only move like right here without it. So that's why you want extra movement bonuses. Okay, so these spiders have this handled. Because of the poison barrier. I can just retreat them if I want. And they'll have to walk through this. They'll have to walk through it. I mean, they, yeah, I mean, they might go this way and around. But, and they might, yeah, they'll have to walk through it. So I might move a spider here. And then let them just walk through it. But for now, I am going to go help. No, actually, no, he's safe. Yeah, no, he's safe. He's safe. I'm going to go up up here. In case my spiders do get killed. <clears throat> I mean, I could... Mm, no, I will, I will do that later. Let's do this. Okay, to only hit them. That's good. Okay. Uh, how far can he move with? He can move three meters on. Yeah, he can move three meters on one. Oh my god, it is so helpful. Um, can he do an attack if I do this? He can. By George, he can. 
Okay, that one is out. That's good. Oh, I figured it wouldn't work. <clears throat> Alright, I want to move to here so that they have to walk through the poison. <coughs> we leveled up. Hell yeah. That's fine. Oh no, buddy. Oh, he got him. Nice. Okay, cool. A critical hit with that one. Dang, boy. And if our spiders die, they die. It does not matter to me at all. Because they're just spiders. Sweet Nothing worth it. Let's go check down here on the other one. <clears throat> I mean, I'll take that. So I can maybe make some better potions later on. We'll see. And I'll take that. And I'll take this as well. I need to start using my items. <coughs> okay, so where did that wolf go to? Explore around here, look for anything that's hidden. Oh, there he is. I lead the way, hero. Oh, they're going back here. I can't go in there. Oh, no, maybe I can't actually. Hold up. You know, I can't go in there. Yeah, they're they're doing a um event over. Erase the event type thing. I kind of know how to make video games, but I don't know how to make anything on this scale. So whenever I see something like that, I'm like, oh, I know what they did there. Or I know the general idea of how they did it. But I don't know how to do anything on this scale at all. Oh, we got archers. Okay, well then. I was not expecting this, but... <clears throat> well, get my boys out. <coughs> Damn. How is it blocked? Whatever then. <coughs> Ugh, good lord. Um, I want to move one. I want to move one. And then I'll do it. Just so it's closer to them, I'll move one. <clears throat> and I forgot to save after. I can move three with him. Okay, I want to move three. So I need to get her more movement now. Okay. Yeah, I need to get her more movement, don't I? What's this move? Three? Okay. I need to get her more speed, don't I, actually? Yeah, I probably do. Which I could do. 
that's a lot of XP. Okay. I mean, it's a lot, but then again, it's not a lot. Holy cheese balls. What? He can move that far. Holy crap, dude. I mean, why the heck not, dude? <clears throat> yeah, I need to get Medora more um, action points. So, I... Okay, what does... How can I do that? Yeah. Um, what gives action points on turn? Is it... That's how many you gain. Okay, I, I need more... That's maximum number. <clears throat> speed and perception. Okay, I need to raise my door to speed and perception. <clears throat> that I can do. Because Medora is my tank. I want her to be my tank. Clubber, clubber. Fully armored killer. Fully armored archer, huh? Okay. Take that and raise you a donut. <coughs> Damn it. Actually, no, I won't do that. <coughs> oh, bite me. Locked, huh? Wonder what kind of shield they have. That's fine. That's good. And that's fine. <coughs> Damn my throat, I swear. And that's fine. That's fine. Because you know what I can do? As my spiders get hurt, there becomes poison on the ground. And when poison's on the ground, you know what I can do with that? You know what I can do with poison? I am going to move... Right here. So that I can do an attack, hopefully. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Who is hurt the most? This one is. Curse failed. That is fine by me. I'm going to move 9.9 .9 meters. And that's what I wanted right there. But I wanted it on all of them. <coughs> Whatever though, it is what it is. Um, it's too far away.
<coughs> um, I will move. How about this? I will come over here. No, I'll sort of fight. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. No. <coughs> I don't want to go through the fire and get burned. Oh, the critical hits are nice, I swear. And I will save three. This one is burning, but it's fine. Oh my god, come on now. <coughs> that one's dead, it's fine, whatever. That one's gonna die. Yeah, so I can't choose what targets I want. So I don't like that ability at all. I don't like it. It's not worth my time. Yeah, I can't choose those. I can't choose them. I don't like it. I don't approve of it. Can I get here? Oh, of course. Fine, you know what? I'll just do this then. Okay, stop making my ears, please, you damn headphones. I swear to freaking God. I don't need my headphones to make my ears itch. No, I won't do that. I'll save it. Failed to apply. Chill. <coughs> and then I'll come here. That spider is going to die. Why can't I tar- oh my god. Okay, good, it died. <clears throat> I might need rain here, let's see here. Um... Yeah, I will go ahead and do this on her. And then I will go ahead and throw this down as well to nullify their fire arrows. <clears throat> no, all right, I won't do that. I'll do this though. I guess the um, shock from it or whatever, who knows, I don't know. Nice. Do it again. Good. Um, how can I raise her crit chance? It's this one, right? No, it's her. No, 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 no. 18% critical chance. So it's only a 4% more boost. And... 
I would rather go for that one, honestly. Because it helps. Yeah, and that also gives her more... <coughs> this is more movement. Starting action points. Yeah, I see needs more movement. So let's go for movement. Let's go for movement. <clears throat> and then what does he need? I know what I'm going to get him. I want this. But... I also want... Can I get... I can. <clears throat> okay, so he right now has level 3. Okay. I mean level 2. Yeah, he has level 2 right now. Oh, if I get this. I'm, no, I'm gonna hold off on this. I want him to have more damage. And then, what's his health? Um, Dex? I could do that. This... I mean, I could do that for healing abilities. What about speed? Critical chance? I mean, I could. I might do his health. Yeah, I might do his health. Where's his carry weight on here? Oh, it's not on here at all. Okay. Yeah, I think his speed is good. Lowest offense rating chosen. Yeah, so I need to. I need. Okay, yeah. So getting 10% more damage from dual wielding will help him quite a bit. So I want to go into more health for him. Because. That 10% offense rating increase will help a lot. <clears throat> yeah, he's, he's going to gain 10% more damage. So yeah, I want to go into health. No, actually, what? Damage, yeah. Damage. Yeah, let's just do damage. That's fine. <clears throat> so now Wolgraf has a 10% damage penalty on him. What is this? Can't tell what it is. That's fine though, who cares? <coughs> Damn. Um yeah, I'll go here and attack him, why not?
That one is out. Yeah, I'll go here. Nice! That was some money. Zero AP. Dude. He moved there for free. He moved there for free. That's awesome. <clears throat> oh, and he's stunned now too. Joshua Spice. <clears throat> what is that for? Not for consumption, too spicy. I have no idea what that's for. <coughs> Damn it, my throat won't stop, I swear. I need it, that's eighty five health. Damn, boy. Oh, yeah, I can open them up now, too. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I should get the damage penalty. Oh, that's hurting us a lot. Yeah, I want to do that for both of them, actually. Um, do I want more speed? <coughs> Good God, dude, I swear. How about more action points? I mean, it's just one more, but, and I mean, it's more health as well. It's not a lot of health. Actually, it's 50 plus. Wow, okay. I mean, I could do this from gear plus one. Okay, so it's not, so we're at eight right now. Okay, so we're at eight. Our damage is fine. I mean, we're going to get 10% more damage. <coughs> yeah, so we're gonna get that much more damage. Okay, I see now, yeah. Yeah, so our damage is fine right now, honestly. And then with this, we'll get more. Let's go for more health and more... And one more action point on both of them. Yeah, I'll do this, and then I will do this. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead and use this too. <coughs> uh, and then use this one. Sweet relief. 
All right, now we're at full health. Into the fray once more. Sweet relief. Uh. Yeah, I'll take those, I guess. It won't hurt. I don't need that at all. Actually, was that? No. I mean, I'll take it and sell it, I guess. All right. Put a save here. Cool. My throat, I swear. It just won't stop. Mm. And for anyone wondering if I have the you know what some calls it's no, it's not that. No, I've not been tested. <coughs> My throat does this a lot. I don't know why, it just does. And it gets to the point to where it just will not stop. For who knows what reason. Hold! Our enemies have lain a trap. Another mental mine. That's a pressure plate. Oh my lord, what is that? Summon Undead Warrior. Okay. <coughs> Who needs a key whenever you have him? That's fair. <clears throat> okay, um, that's fair, yeah. What is do- oh, okay, I said I am. <clears throat> um... Maybe because I'm on the actual thing itself? There's a way to get rid of water, and I want to find out how. Thing does help. Yes, that was how. That evaporated all of the water. <laughs> I thought this shack would be abandoned, but it seems to be recently used. And it has its very own foreboding hatch. What is this for? Ooh, what is this? I am sending you a new apprentice. He's more powerful than you by tenfold, but appearances are appearances, and I don't want to raise a single eyebrow. Do not deviate, Doctor, or you may find yourself in a rather unfortunate situation indeed. Brachus Rex will see the light of day once more. You will serve 
so that he may serve she who is greater than us all. Signed, the conduit. Through blood her power flows, through blood her triumph, her triumph grows. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Damn it. This is a long one. Holy crap, dude. All right. Um. Wow. Theliron? It's Theliron who's been raising the dead around Cycil? That kindly doctor. We've got to confront him. <coughs> All right. I will read those in a bit. Strong. 24 seconds, okay. Versus 30 seconds. Um. I'll read that one in a bit as well. Butter knife, no thank you. Okay, nothing I need there. I mean, I'm sure I need more than what I'm seeing, but... Money. I'm sure people are gonna be yelling, hey, you need all of this stuff, but honestly, I don't care. All right, <clears throat> I'm out of there. That's all that matters. I am going to nope do this, and then I mean, that is better armor for her, but I don't want to lose initiative. <clears throat> mm, I really don't want to lose initiative. <clears throat> I really, really don't want to lose it. Dang it. Okay, so nothing good there, fair enough. Now let's read those books or those st stuff. Okay, I've read this one already. Unsent letter to the conduit. Let's read this one. <coughs> God damn it, my throat, I swear. Good lord. To the conduit of the goddess, or however you may prefer to call yourself. 
It has taken some time, but I have nearly fulfilled my promise. Brockus Rex has been located, and I am prepared to restore him. Once I have acquired the information you seek, I will write you immediately. If you desire to return to his remains, you will need to know the way. Here is what you must do. Enter the ancient church in the outskirts of Sicil. On four of its walls, you will find unique paintings. Lift these and press the buttons beneath. This will move the altar in the middle of the flooring far enough for you to enter layer below. <coughs> Once inside, your amulet will be sufficient to deactivate the barrier. Enter the door within, and Brockus Rex will await you. I have heard of the White Witch's fate, and I have no desire to cross you as she must have. I am not like your sister. I will not disappoint you in this matter. Until we meet again, Dr. Thalion Hashnitor. To the good doctor, you have denied my divinity, but you were wise not to deny my power. I wait eagerly for the results of your search. Patience, however, has never particularly become me. I expected that finding Brachus Rex would be would have been a matter of weeks, not months, for a researcher as practiced as yourself. I have left you with bloodstones of such power that reviving him sufficiently to answer a simple query should hardly have been a problem. I hope I won't regret entrusting this to you, Doctor. Signed, the Conduit of the Goddess. And now for the 20,000 long page one. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'll read this and then put a cut in the video, so bear with me. My research continues to weave interesting and long forgotten paths. Night after night, I find myself drawn into esoteric tomes, convinced perhaps foolishly that one will yield the kernel I need, the eternal secret. If it is to be found, I will find it. A monumental day. In my searching, I, ha I uncovered a tome containing the arcane mythology of those wretched sorcerer kings who nearly undid all of Rivalon. These myths, these myths, once widely beloved by credulous peasants, have long been dismissed and discredited. <clears throat> Still, I promise myself that I leave no stone un. Okay, you know what? Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna go up here real quick. Ooh. Ah, okay, yeah. Still, I promise myself that I leave no stone unturned in my pursuit of knowledge. The volume looked as though it received the same treatment as the barbaric King Brachus, whipped, burned, left to dangle in the wind, and hastily buried. The tome, the Book of the Immaculates, it's called, claimed most insistently that Starstone, a petty crystal, could be imbued with the essence of life and used to heal men. <clears throat> Even those teetering on the brink of death. At first I dismissed the proclamation as superstition. 
Still, as the hours wore on, the idea began to seem less and less ridiculous. The stones, mere shards, most often appear in more than one mythology. Here the fallen tears of the Almighty. There are rejected stars of the cosmos. Not only, no matter the fiction, they always seem to retain some otherworldly origin. Fortunately, a star stone was hardly difficult to come by. I wrenched a shard the length of my finger from an old dagger passed down to me by generations before me. I inspected it closely, but still no special properties appeared to my naked eye. <clears throat> the book's instructions were clear enough, and I followed them exactly. I was it was no pleasure to slit the throat of one of Bertia's panicked roosters, but when I held it in my hand, a star stone turned from a dull blue to a deep swirling red. The stone, a stone that seemed to throb alive in my very hand. The discomfort of the sacrificed vanished entirely. Bloodstone. I'm not too modest to say my own re my renown has spread far. Who else can heal the sick, the wounded, the nearly dead within a matter of minutes? Who else can return the spirit of life to a vessel nearly undone? And a, what about a vessel that has been undone? Though I have yet to make the attempt, I grew curious about the stone's true power. If it can heal wounds of every make and matter, might it also heal the ultimate wound? Might it also reverse death? Even now, as I write her, her smoke and spices haunt me. Malia calls to me. She wants to come home. A strange guest has joined me. She says she knew of my method and that she, messenger of the goddess, could help me achieve new heights of healing. As long as I promise to serve her. Naturally, my first guess was that she'd been touched by madness. Me? Serve some false prophet? Unlikely. But despite her claims, the woman calling herself the conduit does seem to know how to manipulate bloodstone in astounding ways. On her first night here, she took me at midnight to a forgotten cemetery outside Systeel's walls. I carried the shovel and she the bloodstone. Before morning's first light, to my amazement, she had raised a long decayed skeleton into walking into a walking automaton. The creature was was grotesque, no more alive now than it had been for the last hundred years, but animated nonetheless. I must wonder, after what I've seen, is this, if this mysterious stranger might hold the key I've been looking for. Life after death. Life beyond death. The idea has set my mind ablaze. <clears throat> she promised me everything, that is to say the only thing, I have ever wanted. The conduit says that she knows the secret to reanimating a corpse not only with life, but with soul. She knows I would do anything to earn this information, but since I would not be fooled by her little act as some goddess messenger, she has asked me to earn her secret in an another way. I have now labored for the conduit a full month and have made 
surprising headway toward fulfilling her request. Soon enough, my end of the bargain will be complete, and then will her, and then will come hers. The pact that leads towards Broncus Rex is terrible and twisted, fraught with fiends, and even is more horrible than the last. But I seek of them each, each by each, and I raise them one by one. And every second I stare into their vile, hell-sent face brings me closer to him. <clears throat> I will speak to the Source King. I will wrench from him the secret the conduit so craves. And when I present it to her, she will give me what I desire. How can it be that a year has passed? How could I have been so close to finding Brockus Rex, yet so impossibly far from him? How long must Sysiel suffer the plague of undead I have unleashed upon their doors in my pursuit? The conduit has grown impatient and sent her watchdog Evelyn to make sure I am adhering to my promise. The dagger she sets upon me with her every gaze will hardly hasten my progress. I am as desperate as anyone to raise the Source King. Alright, and that is all of our new books that we've, we have. Now to make the save. And I am going to go ahead and put a cut in the video here. And if you guys enjoyed all of the stuff in the video, including the lore dump and the combat and whatnot, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.